Howdy folks, this is Ramarty, and on this video we're going to talk about fountains. How to make a fountain the easy way, how to fix it, keep it looking nice, and uh, do it in a way that it doesn't clog up. So here we have a pretty little fountain, but fall has set in and leaves are coming in all over the place, and it's just not running as strong as usual. So let's go ahead and take care of it. Follow along, we're gonna do a step-by-step. -step. Now, this fountain's been running now for two months and uh, it's still going strong, but it needs a little bit of maintenance. So, take a look. Let's start with the first step. Make sure you unplug your pump, then remove as much water as you can. Also, remove the pump and its contraption. Uh, at the bottom of the pond, I had two bricks that was going to help lift the nozzles above the water level. That makes the fountain look beautiful. Remove as much water as you can until it's light enough to actually take out the full container. Empty it, hose it down, try not to use chemicals because the birds and animals may drink from it. I purchased a medium-sized pump and added to it a pond nozzle kit. This has four different features. It's so beautiful, including the trumpet, water bell, foam jet, and water spray features. At the end of the video, you're gonna see all of them in action. So be sure to stay to the end of the video. Now check this out. This is the most important part. What you're looking at is a makeshift box. I'm going to show you how to do this. It will stop any clogging from happening for the longest time. Your average sponge that, that people put around does not work as efficiently as this. Why? Science. You want to create a space of about two inches between the motor itself and the actual filter. Not right against it. I've tested it and tested it. It doesn't work. Here I'm showing you how to remove the nozzle because we're gonna clean it up. These are the optional nozzles. This one right here is the trumpet. It's a really cool shape that shoots the water up almost like a bell shape. Very easy to put in. This one is the water bell feature. It spreads the water out in a beautiful bubble. And lastly is the foam jet. Uh, shoots the water up, it comes back down. I personally didn't find it as effective and beautiful, but it, it does the job to each one their own. But this particular kit has multiple connections, so if you have different places where you want the water to come out, or extensions, that can definitely do it. Let's move forward to cleaning the parts. It's really easy to clean right at the sink where you want to make sure you hit every spot, remove any crud whatsoever. You can use soap or any chemicals to clean off this motor. It definitely works well. It's so easy to do. Just make sure that you're cleaning off all the crud off of every nook and cranny through the tubes and its attachments as well. This is the guard. It's easy to pop back in and the main tube to just simply screw it on as well. And though this filter that I created works really well, still on the outside of it, you get the algae. So you wanna make sure you clean off all the algae, uh, avoid excess growth. Even on the inside, some algae is created. You can use chemicals to clean this part as well. This is my favorite part. This box is actually a box of screws that I got from the store. We were building a deck, we had a bunch of them, and this was excess box. But I noticed it had that two inch space if I was to put the motor in it, it worked perfectly. Here, you wanna leave a little bit of space for the cable to come out of. And there it is, the cable goes right through it. I put the lid right on it, this is all gonna stay in place. This lid allows for water flow to go through it. The secret to the filter, pantyhose. Knee-high pantyhose. I mean, don't be going around buying no 
long stockings. This is exactly what you need. For one dollar, you're gonna get two of them. That's gonna last you for the entire year. Make sure they're extra large or large enough to fit inside the container that you're going to use. The material is perfect for keeping away leaves, bugs, all kinds of things that would try to get inside the motor. This little corner right here is the only spot where something might come in. So if you want to use a rope to wrap it up, that would be great. As you can see, right here in the middle is where the motor nozzle would be attached to, right? So what do we do? We're going to measure exactly where it goes, poke a tiny hole big enough so that when you put the nozzle in, it will stretch just to size. All right, so with the twisting action, just screw the nozzle back onto the motor. As you can see, I'm giving it kind of a dent that gives a little bit more space between the fabric so water can come back in. Since water is gonna come out of the motor, you need water to come back into the motor. Perfect fit. Make sure it's a perfect fit. That way the lid and the nozzle stay in place. All right, so here's the last step of this simple maintenance and setup process. Just simply fill it back up with water. Now that you have your container clean, put any decorations if you want to. In this case, I had some bricks to raise the box so that the nozzle would be above water level. I like to fill it all the way up to the top for my pets, my cat, my dog, my chickens. Everybody can have some clean water to drink from. Make sure your nozzle is going at a 90 degree angle and is straight up. Very important, make sure you fill up the box first with the water. Otherwise, it's gonna start floating away. Once it's filled with water, then fill up the rest and it will all balance out. I'm speeding through the process here so you can just see the water is filling up. As an average, it takes about 10 minutes depending on how much water pressure you have. You grab your nozzle, you install your nozzle, and you wanna make sure that you do not turn it on until after the water fills up above the lid level because water needs to go back inside the box for water to go out of the box. Otherwise, you're gonna empty out the box. And ready to go, ready to go. Make sure it's straight. Make sure that your container where you're having your fountain is wide enough for the actual type of nozzle that you're gonna choose. This one does splatter, so over time I gotta fill it up again. And it splashes out of it. Just a quick little story. This is day 15 of our personal journey, 100 days into the unknown, a journey to a simple life. And we're selling our house. The person that wants to buy the house, out of everything she said, I want to keep the fountain. It is so beautiful. I want this fountain in my life. So actually I'm making this recording for her and for you to be able to do the same at your home. Make sure that your fountain is level. That way it doesn't overspill. Again, make sure it's straight. I'm just gonna let you enjoy what the fountain looks like without further explanation. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe. Hey, what do you think? Yeah, looks cool.